hi it's Anne-Marie here so I'm carrying on from my last video which was drawing um, the landscape in, in abstract and <clears throat> I thought I'd show you what I've, I do with um, my larger uh, charcoal drawings and uh, basically I photograph it first so I have a record and then I tear them up and I tear them up because it abstracts the picture further down and you'll end up with some really lovely pieces uh, such a, like a pile I've got here so I'm going to tear this one up as well just to show you it's a random process and don't be precious about this because uh, that's not the point. The whole idea is to tear it up and find out what you have at the end. So you keep going. Uh, and don't forget, you could always draw lots more of these. You've still got your original photographs to work from and, um, and your photographs of them. So here we go, more and more tearing. So now I have a whole heap of torn pieces and out of those I'm just going to be selective and choose a few that I particularly like. So I actually quite like that one. I quite like this strong line here as well. And what I'm going to do is actually um, tape some of these together so they are abstract for, down even further. Let's have um, something like this. And this is again just you being selective and playing around um, <clears throat> and deciding what you like or what you dislike. So let's have a go here, that's quite pleasant. Kind of quite like those three. And once you're happy with um, your selection, you can tape them together. And I've just got some uh, masking tape here. It doesn't matter what you use, you can use cellar tape. I'm just going to turn these over and just tape them on the back just to hold them together. <coughs> like so. And now I have uh, a small drawing taped together of which I can do uh, some other work from. Let's create another one. I quite like the marks on there, so it's something slightly different. Marks on there are quite interesting too. And do you see what I mean? It becomes another picture in its own right. So let's just tape those together and then we'll do some work from them. Some of the torn pieces you have um, are probably just as good on their own um, and which you can do some further work from. So there's some lovely pieces like this one. It's got some lovely sweeping lines here. So I'm going to push them to one side. Grab some, I'm going to work with willow charcoal again and my rubber and my piece of chalk. I do have some compressed charcoal as well. But I'm going to work with the willow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some boxes. So I'm just going to draw a box here. And then in that box, I'm going to start to work on some of the mark making I have in this piece here. So I'm just going to add some shading up at the top here. And it just becomes more and more abstract as you work, al work along. There's some nice sort of little marks going on here. There's a bit more shading. I'm being quiet here because it's quite nice to concentrate. What's lovely about charcoal is it sends you in a kind of meditative, meditative state, I can't say the word, but it sends you into that kind of zone where you can just play around and you can do gentle lines and add marks. So I'm now getting myself another abstract painting looks like it's been stitched together it's not a painting it's a drawing so um, there's one from that broken piece and let's draw another one from this one you can make your boxes any shape you like I've just chosen long um, 
rectangles. I love it when charcoal breaks because you've got the charcoal dust that you can move around with your finger and create other marks with it. There's quite a lot of dark charcoal marks this side. And you can go over it again. Some beautiful lines. Let's add some white chalk lines if you want to. Don't forget your rubber. Mine's very, very dark, but again, you can kind of rub out some of the lighter areas and create some different tonal values. That's not too bad. So add some charcoal at the bottom here. And then the more you draw, uh, the more sort of freer you become. I've got some lovely work here. I'm going to do one more and I'm just going to choose uh, just going to grab a couple of pieces and I'm going to put them next to each other and I like this one because it's got a strong line here a strong line going here this way it doesn't matter if you go over the edges of your boxes either because that's the whole point of this that you kind of become very expressive with your mark making Quite like that one. Let's rub out this. Put some extra marks in. There you go. So add some marks to this. Got to kind of rub them out. And you can just work from memory too, adding mark making as you go along. Working from memory that's a whole other thing. There we go. So now I've generated some more um, drawings which I can cut out or tear out uh, or I can even carry on drawing on this sheet of paper. And you just keep working until you, um, well, so you don't want to stop or you will stop naturally. Now what would be nice, and I'll do it in a, another video, is um, I'll work with some ink and uh, perhaps a bit, a bit more collage just so you can see another progression. Beautiful. They're really lovely. I love those. And I'll probably um, cut them out and have them as smaller pieces. Anyway, I hope you find that interesting. It's just another way to bring your um, drawing a bit further on into abstraction of the landscape. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.